Hi, welcome back. This is the human design section of module two. You've heard me use the term several times, your pace. Within human design, there are many clues as to what is the most natural pace for an individual. What do I mean by that? Some people need more time to transition from one thing to another, more time to make a decision, more time to complete tasks, more time to process, more time to digest, more time to um, really get their clarity. So what I'm gonna talk about in this part of human design is we're gonna look at the foundational piece of the word definition. If you have your chart in front of you, then you'll see somewhere on the descriptors where it says type and inner authority, it'll say definition. And next to it, it'll either say none or single definition, split definition, triple split, so forth. And what we mean by definition is we mean life force. When, as an analyst, when we look at someone's chart, we look at what are the squares and triangles that are colored in and how do they connect to each other? Is there one single connection point? Is there two? Is there three? Is there four? Or is there none? So if there are none, it means they're a reflector. In this graph that's being offered, it is an analysis of all the data of people that have run charts at the Jovian Archive website, and they are looking at how many people fall into the different categories, and it's very easy to see that most people are either a single definition or a split definition. This chart shows you what they would look like, the you know, the five different types of definition, the none, the single, the split, the triple split, the quadruple split. So you can get an idea like, what are we looking at when I say the squares and triangles are, <clears throat> are colored in and how do they connect to each other? So you can go through pages 54 to 57 for the different explanations and each of them have some tips on how you can align with your own natural pace, what's natural for you. The biggest gift that human design give, gives to people, whether they're just at the beginning or even more advanced, the more you learn about your, your chart, your design, it's about self-acceptance. It's like if you are wired for someone that needs more time to get your clarity, you need more time to process information, and you try to fit yourself into the category of, of being quick, and I gotta get it done, and I need it now, and they need an answer now. If that's you, that someone says, well, we need to know right now, and you're someone that needs more time, the answer is no. There, you have to honor your natural pace. So look to see um, some of the suggestions there from 54 to 57. See if that can help you um, find some resonance with your natural pace. With each of these sections on human design, I'm offering some um, self-care tips on a definition um, as the example I gave if you're someone that needs more time and people are pressuring you you might feel there's something wrong with me or I'm gonna miss out the FOMO right I'm missing out on something fear of missing out and if you choose to and surrender to experiment with your human design and, and that kind of situation shows up in your life and you say, no, I'm, I'm just gonna test this out. I'm just gonna let that opportunity go and see what happens. 
That is the only way that you can really validate what this um, system of knowledge is offering. I can talk for hours about human design, but until you are willing to experiment and follow the strategies, follow what is being suggested to give yourself the time that you need to pace yourself, then that is the only way you're going to really find that this is valid for you or not. So being kind, being willing to just take a break, step back, test it out, and see if something doesn't shift for you. Because we're not here to be like anyone else. This comparing or judging, judging others, judging, judging ourselves, that's not loving. Human design is about loving yourself accepting yourself there's no higher self-love than self-acceptance and in the process of experimenting what happens if we start to cultivate an awareness when I work with my clients and um, even just doing in readings um, people I do a two-part session and when people come to the second um, call and they say well I saw this and this happened like this like that it's like and I say yeah that's it that's that's what we're talking about that's authentic for you that is a way that you cultivate this awareness is by having some validation of your process be willing to do over be willing to make a shift be willing to just say well time out Boy, that, that didn't work very good for me. And in your willingness to redo or see your behaviors in a different way, that is where you are going to come into deeper alignment. The other invitation here is you got to know your chart and if you're so inclined or desire to learn about the people that you spend a lot of time with. I am someone that moves very quickly. I don't need a long time to process. I come up with, I, I get the information and the next day, boom, usually it's within a day. I know people that are around me that need time. I just know that. And so I give them the time that they need. I ask if they've had enough time and it makes my relationships rich and rewarding and appreciative me I appreciate them they need more time they appreciate me that I give them more time so if you feel inclined to do that even with one other person you'll it'll help you understand the system more it'll help you understand yourself more well, we've come to the end of module two around time and energy management. And I invite you to jot down what your awarenesses are, any aha moments, any insights. What are the things that you want to keep top of mind? Uh, what kind of planning strategies are you going to test out first and track that, put that on your calendar? You know, I tried to you know, whatever the strategy is. I tried time blocking um, for one week. I tried setting a timer for one week, whatever it is, and just see what happens if that's something that really works for you. So I invite you to, to write your insights. I invite you to revisit this particular um, module as often as you need to help you stay on track. I look forward to seeing you in the other modules.